Welcome everyone to this video. Before we begin, please do subscribe for more videos like this so that I can continue making these videos. So today I wanted to talk about the Lenovo Chromebook Duet on how the USI pen from Lenovo works on it, especially the palm rejection parts, how accurate it is. In the previous video, I talked about the latency and the pressure sensitivity of this pen on different applications. I will showcase it also again here. I have some new application and I will show the palm rejections part. So let's begin. To begin with, I will use this art flow app. It's popular among the artists to make drawings. So I will try to draw something and see how the rejection, palm rejections works. This is a test. You can see here, there is a registration from my palm. I realized that also before, because in the settings, I couldn't find any toggle for switching on and off the stylus mode. I will show it in the other applications. They have this in their settings, so you can go into a stylus mode. So it's really handy when you're doing, taking notes or making drawings. I don't know, maybe this is a free version, maybe the pro version of this app has this. You can see that there now it's zoomed out. So it registers my palm. I can try to zoom out here. We can move to the next app. It is the Autodesk Sketchbook app. And it's one of the best apps that you can have actually for drawing, in my opinion. Because if you go to the settings, there's a stylus mode here, and it's right now turned on, so it will not register my finger when I click on, I push it kind of, or I touch the surface. So now let's use the stylus. You can see it will register it. This is a test. And there is, just, there is no registration for my palm. I can also move it here. You can see it works perfectly in this app. Let's move to the bamboo paper app. It's also used for making sketches. This again has also the palm rejection. It's not palm, it's just like finger rejection here. So now it will not register. When I touch it, it will register my finger. So let's turn that off so it will not register my finger. And let's try to write. Let's try to move my palm here. You can see there is no registration for that because it has in the settings. The toggle for it. But I still I prefer the Autodesk sketchbook because it's much better drawing experience. The simplest app is the Chromebook, this Chrome Canvas app for drawing. It doesn't have any pressure sensitivity as I showcased in the previous video, but the latency is low. So for small sketches, of course you can use it, but you can see now it registered here. So there are sometimes the palm, like it registers your t palms touch kind of that doesn't fur work properly is palm rejection here so it's a little bit weird that this canvas app from google doesn't work properly although it has the simplest settings let me also you see i tried to write because my palm touched the surface first the screen first it didn't register the writing part kind of let's go to screen up which is my opinion best application for making notes using this tablet. I'm talking about just this tablet because I could realize that each tablet works better with different applications. This is a test. Let's try to write something, draw something. And to see how it works, it works quite good. There is no problem. Like there was no registration from my palm on the screen. And I wasn't sure why I can say this is good because it has one genius feature inside which you can use your finger to remove everything. 
it registers the finger as a razor and pen to write. That's for my, in my opinion really handy. Next, the Microsoft OneNote app. This is mainly used for taking notes by students. So I will try to write something. It, has, it works okay. I will not consider it for the problem with this application on this tablet. There's a latency here and the pressure sensitivity doesn't work properly also, but the palm rejection part works frankly good, I would say. No, it was a problem in the last second. Uh, I I'm not sure. I would not recommend OneNote in this tablet. This grid is much better experience, and also it has this finger support. Uh, it's just much better experience here. So to wrap it up, What's important is what application you use. It's really important how the palm rejections and the accuracy, latency, pressure sensitivity of this pen works. Sometimes works perfectly, like this uh, Autodesk sketchbook application and a screen app for taking notes. Sometimes it doesn't work properly, like the OneNote or the, the Artflow app. So. Thanks for watching, I hope that you liked this video and hope to see you in the next video.